Or is this just a huge red herring and she's actually not the traitor? Not the traitor. Not the traitor. Horikoshi, you son of a bitch! So My Hero Academia Chapter 336 is finally out, and with it, we not only get the C-Class 1A begin their week-long training session in preparation for the incoming conflict, but the UA trader finally confesses the truth about their actions and betrayal. Oh yeah, and as it turns out, the trader is not Toru Hagakure. Yep, we got bamboozled. But before I begin talking about this chapter, I'm first going to go into a quick summary about what happened last time. And as usual, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button and slide on into that subscribe button's DMs to hit that notification bell. In the last chapter, the former symbol of peace and Midoriya surrogate Papa, All Might informed his clearly favored class, I mean, come on, he never even tried to hide it, that New Order has pulled an Uno Reverse card inside of all for Shigaraki, going SEAL Team 6 and taking him down from the inside, which has put the schizophrenic wannabe symbol of fear in desperate need of a week-long nap. In hearing this, UA's number one class, I mean, where the hell have all the second and Hergers being through all of this, decide that now would be the perfect time to kick some villain ass. Unfortunately, Papa All Might informs the group that there is quite a lot of ass to be kicked. You know, All For One, All For One Junior, Endeavor's mentally traumatized son, an insane girl with an obsession with two of the class's students, six remaining monstrosities designed for the sole purpose of killing, an army, etc, etc. And it would be best to use this week to train. Which is really not a long time, to be honest. Regardless, Class 1A in typical Class 1A fashion, buckled down and began to prepare for the incoming conflict. And All Might looked on smiling about how his 1A babies are all grown up. Meanwhile, over in the villain's lair, Face Cream is having a fucking mental breakdown, Dobby declares he can't wait any longer to kill his dad, and All For One decided to drop the huge bombshell that he has friends in all the right places, as it showed us this image of Toru Hagakure, the invisible mistake, implying that she is in fact the UA traitor. And this is where chapter 336 picks up. Up. This chapter opens up directly where the last chapter left off, with Deku and Bakugo training outside with Class 1A in preparation for the incoming confrontation with the League. Here, Bakugo explains that his new cluster technique is based on the principle that he learned from Endeavor, of concentrating and releasing. For this technique, first he produces multiple spheres of built-up sweat and then he explodes them all simultaneously, creating a cluster of explosions. Bakugo goes on to explain that this is all also why he is wearing his winter costume, as it increases his sweat production. So it looks like this is going to be Bakugo's hero costume for the time being, which I can totally get behind because it looks awesome. We also see that Todoroki is training here as well, as he claims that he wants to further improve the control of the two halves of his body. While this is going on, Kaminari and Mineta are talking off to the side, saying that their two biggest enemies, All For One and Shigaraki, are weakened and Gigantamaki is still sleeping and has been imprisoned, so the hero's chances for victory are greater than ever. But Bakugo interrupts the two, saying that they are way too optimistic, and that there are three reasons why this is going to be their most difficult mission yet. Firstly, All For One is a master of deception and hiding, as even when they found the Nomu Labs or Shigaraki's hideout, All For One was nowhere to be seen. And not only this, but he also hid for several years after he lost to All Might the first first time, completely unbeknownst to anybody. Secondly, Shigaraki was already weakened in the last battle and even then he alone put the heroes through absolute hell. So to think that it will be an easy fight now, even more so with the reduced number of heroes, is very naive. And thirdly, the villains must already have a plan and are waiting for the right moment to strike. Even supposing that the quirk search was destroyed in the fight against Star, the villains must have a plan B. So, as All Might said, the best thing to do now is just prepare for their attack. Deku then chimes in this conversation stating that he still wants to go out to search for the villains, but Ida classically chops him on the head, telling him not to think as a me, but as an us. And after hearing all of this, the conclusion Kaminari comes to is that no matter if they decide to move or to wait, All For One is sure to be laughing at them with a plan in hand. Following this, the story then cuts to the most anticipated character for the first time ever of this chapter, Toru Hagakure, who is in the forest watching three people talking in the distance. One of these mysterious figures say that the other has to obey because he is back 
giving orders. They continue, saying that he just needs to keep doing as he always did, because his signs are disguised as everyday actions and are impossible to trace. Hagakure then thinks to herself about how even after Midoriya came back, there was one person in their class that didn't even smile once, and that she was worried about him, so she went after him. However, it was in doing this that she discovered that this person was actually the UA traitor. And it's revealed that the person in question is none other than Yuga Aoyama, aka Can't Stop Twinkling. Plot twist! As it turns out, the conversation Hagakure is listening in on is actually Aoyama's parents telling him that he needs to keep obeying all for one, or else they will be killed. Hagakure reveals that she has learned that Aoyama has been obeying All For One's requests since the beginning of the school year, and that he was the one who informed All For One of the location of the training camp without anyone finding out. The story then cuts to Aoyama who is crying and trying to oppose his parents' wishes, but they quickly say that they are not doing it because they like it either. However, it is too late to back out now. Aoyama's mother then speaks up saying that they only wanted to see their son be happy. And we see a small flashback where she asks a young Aoyama, do you want to be like everyone else? To which he replies, yes, because being the only one different is scary. And it's here where it's also revealed that Aoyama was actually born quirkless. So his parents asked All For One to grant him a quirk so he could chase his dream. Dreams. Hagakure, in utter awe and disbelief of what she is hearing, realizes that she needs to warn a teacher. But before she can leave, she sees someone else approaching. Aoyama, still crying, says that he has suffered all of this time, and he proclaims that he dedicated himself to the role as a hero as to not arouse suspicion and to not be consumed by all of his guilt. Aoyama taught that when All For One was arrested in Kamino Ward, that he could finally live peacefully with all of his friends. But as it turns out, he was dead wrong. In response to all of this, Aoyama's parents begin to apologize. And Aoyama himself says that he did all of this just to protect them, because he didn't want them to be killed. However, in hearing this, Aoyama's parents asked their crying son to continue protecting them. But it is at this moment that Hagakure arrives on the scene bringing along with her Midoriya. Upon arrival, Midoriya explains that he heard from Agakure something about the traitor, and he asks if it's true, but Aoyama's parents try to play dumb. In seeing Midoriya, however, Aoyama uncontrollably bursts into tears, as he blames himself for being the only one who didn't say anything to Midoriya during his rescue. Midoriya then goes on to say that he had gone into the forest to look specifically for Aoyama, because he realized that something was terribly wrong, as Aoyama was the only person who has remained sad all this time. And with this, chapter 336 comes to an end, as Aoyama breaks and tells Midoriya that he was the one who leaked the location of the training camp and USJ, stating, Midoriya, I am a disgusting villain. And the last image we see is a flashback of the cheese he left on Deku's balcony, which spelled out, I know everything. God damn it, Horikoshi, you got me again! Overall, this was an absolutely insane chapter. Aoyama being revealed as the real UA traitor was completely unexpected, especially after the ending of the last chapter, and it brings up a lot of feelings for me. For those of you who don't know, the first My Hero Academia related video I ever made on this channel was about Yuga Aoyama and the brilliance behind his character. So to see young twin 
ugly boy be the traitor hit me a lot harder than I thought. But that's also something I'm glad to feel. Hagakure being the traitor, while making the most logical sense based off her quirk and the little info we have on her, lacked a lot of the emotional weight due to the fact that she is, well, a nobody in our eyes. But having it be someone like Aoyama, who not only has connections with Midoriya, Ida, and the rest of the class, but also has been there from the very start, even saving Midoriya in the entrance exam, holds a lot more weight. Which is going to make the next few chapters really interesting in finding out what's going to happen to him next. Will he get kicked out of UA? Will his friends turn on him? Or personally, what I believe is going to happen next? Will the heroes use Aoyama to send false information to All For One as bait? Setting up a trap for the king of villainy. Since Aoyama can technically make direct contact to All For One, he could ironically very much be the hero's key to victory in this final battle. Plus, it suits his character so perfectly being the shining star that guides the heroes to their goal. But who knows? Hell, maybe Hagakure is secretly also a traitor and she's going to rat out Aoyama to All For One as well. But let me know what you think of this chapter. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment what you think is going to happen next. For more My Hero content, subscribe to the Lunchtime Crew. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Plus Ultra.